All right. Um, so the big news today is uh, I had a coupon and I got a, I picked up an extra battery. It's the same brand, same size, capacity. So I'm effectively doubling my battery capacity and starting the adventures of getting a battery bank set up. Uh, right now, my wiring situation is a mess. This thing here is very, very long, uh, which is not a good thing to have. Uh, the wire is not even uh, bolted or anything to that battery. It's it's really like, uh, I guess, pressured in a way. <laughs> the the angle that it comes into the battery just keeps it connected to the battery. And I think, yeah. I mean that's horrible. <laughs> um, so today I, I did a lot of ordering on Amazon. I was hoping I could pick up wires at uh, a store, but I saw some wires were like sixty bucks, and that's crazy. So I um, I went on Amazon and ordered a few wires of various sizes. I had to look up uh, the recommendations from the manuals that I have. Uh, I even have this wire which is smaller than that wire and I was just comparing the um, the size to see if it would fit into the solar charge controller which this is actually too big so I got a smaller wire to go from the charge controller to the batteries then I got two one foot wires to go from from battery to battery to build up the bank and then I have a four foot wire to go from the battery bank to the inverter so uh, that's pretty much the news regarding that today um, there is other news that I can talk a little bit about briefly and um, I don't really keep the lights on in my house that often <laughs> um, but we'll go over here okay so one of the reasons I bought that extra battery is because I'll get up to 100% early in the morning and um, there's a lot of wasted energy. And I was going to turn on the lights throughout the day, but that burns off energy that I'm not using during the day when I could just save that energy and use it later on. Um, the big thing going on right now is, uh, here we go. This is the fun stuff. Um, so you can see the seven day average is starting to even out into this giant hump. And then you see yesterday and today's uh, wattage generation coming in from the, uh, the solar array is really low. It's 10% of what it normally is. And that's because yesterday and today have been cloudy days. Tomorrow is a cloudy day and the day, the day after is a cloudy day or it's, or it's been waiting today in the next three days. Um, so that's the kind of effect that that has on the solar array. I'm still generating power in the rain, but it's just uh, not that great. So that's just uh, because of all the clouds. Uh, I'm just really trying to conserve all the energy I have and just um, only using the Raspberry Pi. I don't want to turn on the inverter right now. I want to make sure I have enough power to go throughout the day and just keep that Pi running. Uh, other than that, there's there's not really much else going on. Um, I was just so uh, exhausted after work yesterday that I didn't even continue on to this project after that. And uh, I just got off work a little bit late today with everything going on. And I'm really debating whether or not I should uh, start doing more stuff. Uh, my main concern right now with this website is if I refresh it up there, it's going to take a while. See, it's, you're waiting. Now I'm waiting for the graphs for the data to come through. Still waiting. Still waiting. And we're still waiting. Are we waiting? Yes, yes, we are still waiting. There we go. So as a web developer, that just tears my brain. It's like if you put your nails on a chalkboard and just drag them across. That's what it feels like to me. It's just waiting for all that data to come through. And it's mainly because of the queries to generate this chart right here. So I gotta look and see if I can optimize those queries in any way to uh, speed things up. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So 
Have a good night.